hits your eye <laughs> like a big piece of pie. That's a fiore. <laughs> it, is, it is. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's, it didn't I'm take sure, as long to come up with that. Did no, no, it? <laughs> and I'm sure he's never heard that before. And I've never heard that sonore. I've never heard that either. Oh, that's so true. I could have go. gone with that sonore. Yeah, yeah. Or if you're a West Ham fan, it could have been uh, that Zamora. Yeah. Uh, yes. Want to know that one? When yeah. the ball hits the net, who's the scorer? I'll bet it's Zamora. Anyway. <laughs> That was something like that. Okay, but hey, that's not where we are that's today. It. But... Every, uh, anyway, so yeah. today is a, a cool day. In fact, this whole weekend's been awesome. Hopefully you've been watching all of the shenanigans that have been going on on our kind of PRS Anderton's takeover weekend. Yes. I think this is the last video. Yeah, uh, but it could be the first. I know. No, no I, I think it's going to be the last one. And yeah. you can tell it's the last one because between all the ones that went before and this one, I've had a haircut. <laughs> yeah, that's how long it took. <laughs> Uh, yeah. To literally get a hold of this particularly beautiful guitar that just is, you can't get anywhere. But it's we the managed only to one. get one. Yeah. It's the only one in Europe at the moment, maybe even the only one in the world in that color. Uh, it's the new signature model of uh, the uh, incredible guitar player Mark Gatieri, uh, who you guys may have seen on YouTube or may have been in one of the many bands that he's in, but something like Snarky Puppy, oh, he would yeah, have been Snarky well Puppy. known yeah, for yeah. doing. Absolutely. But yeah, he's Huge. a monster player. Another monster. one of those kind of sickening guys that just plays everything really well. Um, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fair enough, man. It's fair enough. He's amazing. So what He's can put you the say? practice in. What can you say? Yeah. So tell us, Pete, what, where, what's the spec? You know, what's the inspiration behind this beautiful looking guitar? Actually, if you really want to know, then you can actually kick up with a pop-up banner because we did do, uh, you did an interview with him where he talks about his inspiration and where the guitar comes from. So I think to let him, in his own words, if you haven't watched it, go and watch that video up there because that's much nicer because he tells the story about but um, where the logo comes from, his mother designed it, and I think his, I think his, um, was his daughter something that had something to do with the name Fiore it means flower in Italian. So, but there's a story, and who can tell it? So watch it up there. It's much easier, and we'll just we'll just ramble on some specs instead and do some tones. What do you think? Well, I'm jolly glad about that because he was a very nice chap to talk to, and I shall look forward to watching it again. Yes. Um, but Pete, yes, tell us about this guitar. Uh, so. As he, you saw Mark explain, it's a collaboration between him and Paul Rich Smith, and basically they worked on all the details that he wanted, you know, and as you, if you know Paul and you've met him and seen the interview with you done, it's just, he, he just, there's nothing that he won't do for you. So, um, it's a swamp ass body, uh, it's a Mabel neck, 10 inch uh, radius on here, it's got nickel frets, it's got a single coil, single coil, and a humbugger here, which is designed uh, with Mark and PRS, so they call them the Fiori, Fiori um, set of pickups. Then you got, you know, some it's crazy. It's quite a, yeah, yeah, but it, we're not, yeah, but it, so you got a, a volume, tone, and a tone, five way selector switch, so that's very HSS like in a, in, you know, as, as you would have. Then you've got a two point trim system, so, and with a very smooth, trim uh, motion, action, whether you, or you will. You've got locking tuners on the front, but they are vintage spec on the back. Right? Compared. Bolt on. Yeah, you, I know what you, I know what I'm you want to... I, I can't... Where are I the mean, we should, similarities we should use, between... use that one over there, because Ooh, that is the yes. uh, kind of... I mean, I was noodling on this 594, which is a beautiful guitar, and um, is not uh, the Joe Walsh signature version. Yeah. This is just a regular 594 10 top, um, which is lovely. But yes, how exciting is that? Joe Walsh is now part of that PRS family lineup yeah. with something quite similar looking. Um, but what I was intrigued to yeah. know, Mr. Pete, yeah. is how similar is the body shape to something like a Silver Sky? I, I think just realised that, I think upper, it is that super, upper belt is very yeah. different. So that's isn't it? a that's that's a design that they that they added into it. So if you can see the upper belt, has got slight um, it's got the slight same curve here as. So this side is the same or yeah. similar, and this side it's, is new. This I is feel very like that's a bit more sharp. This on is this very one. fendery, and this is a bit more contemporary, isn't it? Yeah. This sort of spoon cut there. And I think the back as well. If you look on the back, I think it's got slightly. Oh, that's kind of the same. I would yeah. say. Yeah, that's the same. Cavities, of course, are covered up on this one here, but you can see it's the same uh, plate neck on, joint, on yeah. the neck joint here. The neck shapes are different, uh, so that's that's a you know that's the, the silver sky neck of you. That is slightly slimmer. Um, is that a 
more satin finish as well. No, I think on, it's on just the got neck it's just, sticky juice. All yeah, over it. it's just got finger juice on it. Um, That's a lovely satin finish. I'm really. Yeah. I mean, I know this is terribly unscientific. Yeah. The, well, the, is, the, the is Maya it, one feels a little fatter. Yeah, no, it's a different neck shape. That's John's own, um, I'll say John, but that's, his, uh, that's, that's how he his likes name. his neck. Yes. Um, again, it is a, it's a, it's got a scarf joint on it. So the same as that has got the same as this. But as you can see, the, the headstocks um, are opposite of each other. So you see that. So if I go... Oh, I so, see. So, so you've got the conventional PRS yeah. headstock. And again, this John has got like, the reverse John way round yeah, exactly. one. And of course, these are the two. I like these tuners because they're very vintage kind of thing. I think they would look cool on that, actually. Yes. But that's just my um, thing. And you've got the, you know, you got the PRS locking. Uh, but, the, the, so the, the Mayer has the vintage style six knots. screw trim system on it. Yeah. And the Letteri, the Fiore, has got a, a more contemporary... Uh, Dual pivot, dual yeah. fulcrum trim, and, and yeah. again, I quite like the little metal tip on the on the tremolo arm. Yeah, there as just, well. that's pretty sexy. I remember you said in the video, you said, "Oh, it looks longer," but I think it's just it's not. It's, it's the same size. Illusion. It's an optional illusion. Agree. But you can get those kind of Jeff Beck, Jeff Beck kind of, um, you know, those. Uh, those kind of things, which. which so let's let's go through yeah, tones because okay. there there are the, as you say the stock five positions are pretty straightforward as you'd expect. Yeah. But then it gets a bit crazy. Yeah. When so you push pulls. Push pulls. Uh, there's push pulls on each of these, which is you know, uh, you know when we first got in, it's like I have to look at the manual because what what does it all do? But both in conventional neck, neck and middle. Middle, good sounding pickups as well. Mm, nice and fat. clear and fat, mm. yeah. Bridge and middle and rich. And of course, these are all voiced, uh, Mark and Paul voiced these together, so. I mean, this plays lovely. Mm. Uh, the 10 the inch. N radius neck here, and I think this feels slightly like a in between a pattern and maybe a slim. It's got that kind of pattern feel to it. I when maybe I when I played that, slim. I I was surprised. I thought the fretboard felt flatter. I thought on on the back it was very fendery, you know, kind of yeah. very sort of modern stratty. Sixty, um, yeah, sixty. And I, and I thought it was modern. so. I was I was See. surprised actually when Pete said it's a ten inch radius on that. Yeah. I thought because that's basically a gnat's ass different to a modern Fender Strat or something. But it, yeah. it just, I don't know, it just felt flatter. Yeah, well, um, but hey, uh, it's, well, but it's, it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's not too far from the norm that you'd go, oh, that's a bit odd, isn't it? I think that's a very, like, you know, if you own a few guitars, chances are that's going to feel very familiar. Absolutely, yeah. So if, I mean, not saddle here, not bone saddle, um, with this little logo in there like that. Um, and then that's kind of your conventional kind of tones, as you will. And then it becomes fun because when you're in the in the neck position, actually let's start on position one here. So if I'm a bridge and I pull the middle, up, of course, now it's a tone. If I'm in position five, four, and three, middle is the tone. But if I pull the middle one, <laughs> it brings in the neck pickup. Well, it's just a lovely, I love that combination, it's great. Now, if I go back to position five, and I pull it, it brings in the bridge pickup, right? So if I pull it out, right. and I'm in position five, the same configuration yeah so let's say you are you know if you want to if you are doing something that's how this is how I would, would if you're doing some kind of uh, on the on the uh, on the bridge and you want to go back to a clean you can just pull that it brings in that I mean who would just step on the pedal but you know you can do I, that I did get a sense with this that that this is a tool that Mark has designed so that he's going 
I could be doing any project here. I could turn up somewhere <laughs> and someone could say, oh, this next tune is X. Yes. And he could go, it's okay. I don't need the 17 other guitars. I just literally go, click, chibi, chibi. And I got that tone. Let's go. Yeah. And um, I, I mean, it is, you know, the fact is that you could potentially just go, you know, you can, but hang on. You could leave that in that position, I guess, and then go into the middle what, position. What's, then what about what the happens? all three? What about <laughs> the all three? Points? Yeah, so, that, so that's so when you're in position two. Now all of them are on, okay? All of the pickups. And again, in position four. It's then you the got same. all three on, so it's yeah. the same. So kind of you say you got, let's say you just want that. That's one guitar on its own. Now, you know, and you can go the same, like, if you like to switch up instead. Three, and then you got the middle. So, I mean, whether you like it like that, then you've got literally, the, the, that's just kind of the same. So the, the back one is the one so at the moment, all the tones that you heard there, if it involved the bridge humbucker, it was a standard series wired, yeah. like normal humbucker. You got the sheet on um, there, the if sheet you, sheet. But you don't have to have it like that. You can, no. in fact, change the back humbucker to be wired in parallel for sounding more like two single coils rather than one yes. humbucker. Yeah, so, you, so you, let's say you were here. Normal position one. Pull that. See, this is what I don't think that should do something. Of course, it should. Should it? So now, what you've got now is you've got that wired as in uh, parallel, so like two single coil pickups, yeah. and you pull it out, and then it's that and those two. Oh yeah! Oh man! And so actually, that is like four pickups now because you've got these two almost acting separately, and those two no, as well. Holy smokes, so man! So it's it's like I, I I've got oh, to be yeah, honest I was, with you. I did, honestly didn't. I I was like, that's not supposed to do anything, but of course it is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I kind of feel like it's there's there's no point imagining a scenario where like halfway through the song you're going, oh solo middle eight. The, it's not really about that. It's, I no. mean, it's, it's it's literally about having. Um, I mean, crikey, someone who's good at maths will work out what this is, but what, 10 or 15 different yeah. kinds of tonal combinations, yeah. uh, each with uh, a vibe about them that, depending on the song that you're working on or the band that you're working on, yeah. working with, sorry, you know, you'll, you'll find something in there. And it goes from very jangly, uh, clean, through to, you know, very fat and driven. Yeah, so that's we we're gonna to get to the drive in a minute. Yeah, I, for, I forgot that <laughs> position as well. It's 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 really got a lot, but I think we have to remember this is a signature signature guitar for an artist, and that's what you are going to expect if you, you know, if if a company asks somebody to do a signature product, they're gonna go, I want this, I want this, I want this, and this is a lot in this mm. guitar, man. It'll appeal to a lot of people, I think. Um, but of course, Mark, those old. It does all that, all that kind of funky stuff, and you can do that by by pulling out the. Almost like a telly kind of. Just in that position. Four, just in position two. I mean, you know, so it's impressive. It's impressive. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I again. It's like, because I kind of ebb and flow, ebb and flow. So, you know, between this concept of going, sometimes I think I just want uh, a Les Paul Jr. Yeah. into an amplifier turned up really loud, no pedals, no nothing. And, yeah. and then other times you go, no, absolutely, you need, I mean, I think that's why something like the Strat is so enduring, because it was that first guitar that was like, here, have five different settings and a trem system, and, you know, you can really get some different tones yeah. and that's really just the this natural the evolution yeah. of, of that kind of thing so as a, yeah. as a player you're sort of feeling like well I am you know I do have lots of different hats to wear depending on the project that I'm working on and I just want one guitar that I feel can do you know as much as possible yeah anyway let's uh, let's let's just try a bit of uh, gain tone so I've got the protein on the green side <laughs> Let's 
a great tune. Ah. It's just nailed that. Slightly, and I don't think they're hotter, these pickups. I actually think they're quite low outputs, but for some reason... They've they, got the, the TCI magic behind yeah, them, Yeah, I think this, this one definitely has got it. So, but... Very articulate. Position two. First, first let's... Let <laughs> <laughs> That's just great there, and again, if I then pull that, I get all free. The floating trem. Which is great. Middle position. Just a nice middle position pickup. These coils look kind of they look a bit big, fat, don't like they? Yeah. Pull the pounders off of a Seymour Duncan or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then position two. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> Bridge with the oh, bridge second with the... one out. Uh -huh. Combinations. I just wish Great they'd guitar, uh, added. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I wish they had added a uh, a switch where you could. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, there's a lot in here, and I, and and it's lovely. It's a great session guitar. What, what was it great made from box. again? Is it older? A swamp say. ash. Oh, it's an ash body as well. Yeah. Nice. So, um, so you can kind of see a little bit of the grains in here. I don't know. I mean, this is uh, as you said, the only one, but uh, it's got these. It's got a thin. Oh, look, uh, poly on it. P and PRS are, are, are killing it with that absolutely. kind of um, tone machines. Is it where, I mean, this is obviously going after quite a traditional market. That almost, you know, what I think that looks a little bit like not yeah. not in the way that it, I think it's a copy at all. I don't think it's a copy at all. I just think it's got that vibe about it. Is it Music Man Luke? I was. I wouldn't. I wasn't going to say. Anything, I don't. don't, but mean, I, think, I don't yeah. mean it feels like one or anything. I just think that because it's got no scratch plate on yeah. it and it's a little bit curvy. Yeah. Um, it's got the Luke thing got, going on. It's got a bit on, of yeah. a Luke look, which is great. Uh, it's a which, beautiful looking. Guitar. He's yeah, and and you know that that's a compliment for that. But I mean, I wonder if you can put a, a scratch plate on it. You know, if you can make a. I don't know if that would fit, but 
you know, if you want to do your own thing, put a uh, an anodized gold plate on here. Maybe get one made for it. I'm sure there's. Uh, I know there's a company somewhere they make plates for anything, so you can just oh, ask. Man. But you know, then you have to drill holes in it later. Ooh. No, look. Um, but it's, it's, cool, very, it's very, it's very cool. cool. Guitar, uh, three colors. So, okay, so you've got sugar colors. moon. Sugar moon. Sugar moon. So mm. that's like it is kind of a almost it like is an a bit extra sugary, isn't it? Sugary moon. Then you've got a black iris. So like a. The, the middle of it of your eye. Yeah, and then you got an amaryllis. Ah, I think they're all flowers. Amaryllis. They're oh, all flowers, flowers. see, because um, flower is fiore in Italian. So, I mean, I think it's a great addition to the PRS lineup. Um, comes with a gig pack, so everybody's going, oh, but That's again, right. he's a gigging musician. He takes it everywhere. Yeah. He doesn't John Mayer comes uh, with a gig bag. Yeah, and How again, much is it? Do you know how much it is? It is twenty five ninety nine. Twenty five. Yeah. How much are the? How much is a Silver Sky these days? A little bit less than that. Unless you, less the limited that. edition ones are twenty five ninety nine, but I think they're twenty two ninety nine. Twenty two ninety nine. Yeah. But does there's more in, in this. Does it come in purple? I don't know. We should ask. Does it come in purple? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sure it could do. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, look. That's yeah. the end. Basically. I'm, I yeah, think it is, possibly yeah. you've made it to the very end of our PRS takeover weekend as well. So congratulations if you've watched it all. Um, you'll never get that time back. That's for sure. Uh, and if you haven't watched it all, then there'll be all uh, Pete and I and some, you know, with a bit of PRS stuff going on in between, covered all of the guitars that are new for 2021. Well, we did our best to anyway. So you can go check back those on the Anderton's channel. Yes. Uh, but there you are. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Lovely guitar. Uh, and uh, Pete Knight, we'll see you soon. Au revoir, as they say. Like and subscribe. In uh, Italy. Like and subscribe. Mark was here. <laughs> <laughs>